Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you about idioms to make your conversations interesting than ever before. And this video will be part one. So let's get started. So I wonder how many of you would have guessed the person who is on the screen? Well, if you guessed, you're right. William Shakespeare. The important thing is to understand that the words used in the idiom are not literal. They mean something else. Authors use idioms to communicate a special and precise message to the readers. Famous authors like William Shakespeare used and even created many idioms that we still use today. In fact, it is estimated that there are at least 25,000 idioms used in English language today. The best way to learn idioms is to practice them in real life when you read and listen and use them when you speak and write. Now let's see the few idioms. A mile a minute, which means very quickly or very rapidly. Now let's see with some examples so that you can understand and correlate. She was talking a mile a minute about the accident, which means she was talking very quickly about the accident. Let's see another one. Arjun was very excited, talking a mile a minute. Get it off your chest, which means say it and feel relieved. For example, I had spent two months worrying about it and I was glad to get it off my chest. Let's see another one. This is quite familiar to everyone. You will feel better if you get it off your chest. So when you share your sorrow to your friends or your family members, you feel relieved, right? So that is what get it off your chest means. Next one. Drop me a line, which means send me a note or write a short letter. So in this idiom, the line means a few words in writing. So let's see with some examples. I hope you'll drop me a line soon. If you get a chance, drop me a line when you arrive in Sunnyvale, California. Could you drop me a line when you get moved into a new home? So that is sending a note or writing a letter as a purpose of sharing information. Now let's see the idiom in the loop and out of the loop. In the loop means to be aware of the information that is known to a group who make decisions. And out of the loop means the vice versa, that is, to be unaware of the information that is known to only a group. Now let's see some examples. She is new to the board, but be sure to keep her in the loop, that is, provide her information or make her aware of the information. And out of the loop means the vice versa, that is, unaware of the information. On the tip of my tongue, for suppose, you are ready to utter something, but unable to remember it at the moment. Then you use this idiom. For example, I met him last year and his name is on the tip of my tongue, which means you are unable to remember his name at the moment. We'll see one more. Just give me a minute. His birth date is on the tip of my tongue. Well, this happens quite a many number of times. You can also put it in a sentence. I can't exactly remember the title of the book but it is on the tip of my tongue. Long story short, which means to skip boring, unnecessary details. We'll see with an example. Anyway, long story short, I totally screwed up today. We'll see another one. What happened at the meeting? Well, to cut a long story short, 10 people are going to lose their jobs. That's all for today, guys. We will see another set of idioms in the upcoming video part 2 thank you for watching guys please do subscribe to my channel to get notified about my upcoming educative videos stay safe stay healthy